Well, hello my friends. Welcome to 2023. And I hope you had a good holiday. And welcome also to El Rancho Grande. So, without further ado, join me. Won't you please? So, as you can plainly see, we decided on South America as opposed to the UK. Gloucestershire, I like the setup and whatnot, but everything was already done for you. All the fields were selected, all the pastures. There's nothing you could really kind of make your own in it, and I, I'd like to be able to build something, you know, from nothing, kind of, sort of. So here, down in uh, El Rancho Grande, which it's not grand yet, but it's going to be one day, so here I'm open, I can, I can purchase properties, you know, fields and stuff, I can expand and I can kind of make it my own, you know. So yeah, I'm thinking that this is probably the, the better decision of the two, for me personally anyway, you know. So I'm yeah, going to get started, going to get this thing rocking and rolling here, and of course with every new place, you know, you got to get the crops in, get them harvested, and get things going that way, and then of course, you know, prep the fields and start to think about the future, but baby steps, right? So, first things first, we just get some corn plowed, shall we? Okay, see you in a bit. And there we go, one down. So we'll get this back to the stables here and we'll get that corn header traded out. Put that back down a little more gracefully than I picked it up, I hope. <laughs> a little out of practice here, you know. So yeah, we'll just get the headers changed out. I'll put the grain header on this one here and then we'll get up into that uh, northern field where the wheat is. And we'll get that all harvested in and tucked away. And get organized here. I've got to start thinking what my next moves are and what have you. Um, if I'm going to do cattle, which I would like to, then I'm going to have to make a move on some grass because I'm going to need it for the silage, I'm going to need it for hay, all that good happy stuff, right? So. Yeah, I was uh, walking around the property there yesterday, and I'm sorry I didn't show it to you guys when I was showing you the property earlier, but uh, surprise, surprise, this place comes with an airplane and a landing strip, a small crop duster. It's sitting in a hangar off to the west there. I was looking at it last night. Got the, uh, the motors in the middle of being ripped out and whatnot. I mean, like I say, it came with the property, and I'm no pilot, so I don't see it going anywhere. But I don't know, maybe I can sell it off down the road for parts or see what happens with that one. I'm not really sure, <laughs> but yeah, so interesting times. Like I say, I'm looking forward to it here. I mean, just look at that view. Just look at the mountains. I mean, my gosh, you know. And as I say, with Gloucestershire, it's, it's pretty and it's nice. And I think that will be the next map that I do. We'll do a series on Gloucestershire for sure. But what I want to do right now is just kind of start something from scratch and just kind of slowly build it up, you know. Uh, as I say, if I'm going to do cattle, and uh, I am going to, I'm going to have to make a move on grass. Now, if you look right in front of us there, that field just up, <coughs> pardon me, kitty corner to the left of us, that's a grass field. So I'm going to talk to whoever owns that and see about buying it. Speaking about buying it, I just bought this because that other harvester, it's not only too small, but the header on it is way smaller. And you got to have a trailer with it, whereas with this new one, it does a 15 meter swath and it is its own trailer. So that's kind of cool. You don't have to worry about carting this around and that around. 
And I certainly don't need two harvesters right now. So I'm gonna sell this one off. And we'll use this new one right here. Like I say, not only is it a bigger harvester, but the, uh, the header itself, 15 meters wide, so it'll do a field in literally half the time that the other one would. And the header is its own trailer. Like I said, you watch here, I'm gonna hook up now. Get the go, get the go, kaboing. There we are. Now, we'll just spin around and give you a look. And voila, bloop, fold it up. And everything just disappears up inside its own guts, and it's great. I just love that, man. You know, talk about mobile, right? And anyway, yeah, we'll get this one finished off, and I'll catch up with you in a short, okay? So yeah, this section right here, that's field number eight. That's the one we were just looking at. Now that's all grass. So I can pick that up for $200,000, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. And that will facilitate me access to some hay, and then I can start making my silage and all that good kind of stuff, right? So that's gonna work out good. As we say, it's all baby steps right now. I'm just trying to get organized. I gotta spend a few days and see what equipment I got, what I can sell off, what do I need, what I don't, ooh, I didn't like that, glitchy, hmm, okay, I have to keep an eyeball on that, I guess, I wonder why, because hmm. that's a vanilla uh, header, that's not a mod or anything, so, hmm, I don't know, anyway, no worries, it's a small thing, okay, so let's just tuck you over here, I think, and days wearing on already, eh? Time sure flies when you're having fun, don't it? <laughs> okay, now we'll <coughs> just head her on over here. Scooby doo, scooby doo. Yeah, we'll just get this all emptied out now and tucked away. Nice. So yeah, as I say, I'm looking forward to this build. I think it's going to be good. I hope you guys will stick with me through it. And that being said, if you do like what you're seeing and that, please, by all means, do leave a like because it goes such a long way to me getting my videos put up in the rotation. The more likes you got, the more they're going to show your videos, right? So yeah, if you do like, by all means, leave a like and um you know maybe subscribe would be nice follow me for sure and if you have suggestions or if you think there's ways i can improve on what i'm doing by all means please do leave a comment and let me know right but yeah so we'll get the corn around here now and we'll get that all tucked away and then i think i'm gonna probably go get me some supper because it is well it's almost quarter <clears throat> pardon me almost quarter to six or whatever here so yeah it has been a long day so from me to you brightest blessings guys and uh, i'll see you in the morning yeah <laughs> all right peace